Hello there. A few months ago, I made a video on how to screen record restricted apps on Android without rooting it. But from the feedback, I realized that it's not working on all Android devices for some reason. That's why in this video, I'm going to show you another way to screen record restricted Android apps without rooting your phone. I'll be doing that by spoofing a rooted environment on my phone while keeping my actual phone unrooted. It might sound complicated, but trust me, it's not. You'll be able to do it too if you watch the video carefully without skipping a step. So without any delay, let's get started. Alright, before we dive in, let me give a quick disclaimer that you need a decent Android device to run the spoofed OS and also I cannot guarantee that this method will work on every Android device. With that being said, let me start by showing my Android version and testing if I can screen record any restricted app by default. As you can see, my phone is running Android 14. Now let me launch a restricted app and try to record it. The last method didn't work for the Amazon Prime Video app, so I picked it for this method. As expected, there is a black screen over the play area. To bypass screenshot restrictions without rooting your phone, you need to download an app called VPhone Gaga. It's a virtual machine app that lets you run a rooted virtual phone on your phone where you can access apps that require root access without actually rooting your phone. The link to the APK is on our Telegram channel and also I will upload the full 850MB APK file on the Telegram channel. Download it from one of the sources. After downloading, extract the APK and install it. Oh by the way, this is tested to be working on Android 12 to 14. If you are on older Android versions, you may need an older rooted version of VPhone Gaga. Search for it online and hopefully you'll find it. But if your phone has good RAM and storage, try this version first. Once installed, launch the app, grant notification permission, agree to the policy, allow it to appear on top and click grant later for other permissions. After that, the app will take a few minutes to initialize. It took me about 3 minutes, so be patient. When it's ready, the rooted virtual OS will launch with Magisk and LS Post pre-installed. Before continuing, you'll need to verify that the virtual phone is actually rooted. To do that, install the root checker app from the Play Store on your actual unrooted phone and import it to the virtual phone. To import, tap on the file transfer icon, click import, select the root checker app and click import again. It will be imported in seconds. Then navigate back to the home screen, launch the root checker app on the virtual phone and confirm the root access is properly installed. Next, launch the LS Post app, go to the repository tab and search for the disable flag secure module. Tap on the second result, go to releases, tap on assets and tap on the APK. You will be redirected to the website to download the exposed module. After it's downloaded, go to the file manager and install it on the virtual phone. Now relaunch the LS Post app, go to the modules tab, tap on the disable flag secure module and enable it. Now you can either log into your Google Play Store account on the virtual phone to download the apps you want to screen record or import them from your actual phone without using your Google account on the virtual phone. I prefer the latter, so I'll import an app with screen recording restrictions. To do that, launch the file transfer app again, tap import and import the app you want. Since we are testing the Amazon Prime Video app, I'll import that. As you can see, it's imported successfully. Now it's time to log into the app and see if we can screen record it. And there it is, 
As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I am screen recording a restricted app without rooting my phone. Let me make it more interesting by streaming from the same app on both my actual phone and the rooted virtual phone at the same time. As you can see, the stream from the actual phone has a black screen while the stream from the rooted virtual phone is being recorded. So that's one way to screen record restricted apps on Android without rooting your phone. I hope it works for you. If it does, please like the video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and subscribe to the channel for more informative videos. Thanks for watching.